Tell us about tight end Luke Musgrave. This was a huge guy. Uh, I think he's six foot seven, two fifty maybe. I want to say. Um, I was in awe of him. He caught everything that came to him. Uh, he's got long arms. Now the problem with him is that he didn't have any knowledgeable stats last year. He only played in two games. He had 169 yards in two games and averaged almost 16 yards a catch. The reason is he had a knee injury. In the third game, he injured his knee uh, trying to make a block. It kind of reminds me of what happened to Odell Beckham against the Bengals Mm. when he had his first knee surgery. And um, so, But at the Senior Bowl, that was one of the first questions. How is your knee? I've got 100% green light from the doctors. I'm here to compete. So all you've got is tape on him really as a junior and as a sophomore, which even then he's got uh, 304 yards as a, as a junior and only had one touchdown. So you don't really see much tape on him and what he can do. Excellent blocker, stays engaged, stays engaged, stays engaged, uh, knows how to move his man. but. I see him as not like a Rob Gronkowski. I see him more as the Jimmy Graham, the year that he was with Drew Brees in the Saints where he like caught everything and, and scored all those touchdowns and had all the – he may not have a bunch of yards, but once you get inside the 25, that's where a guy that's almost six foot seven. he's listed at 6'6", but he's really 6'6 and three quarters. He's closer to 6'7", and he's just got real long – wingspan that he can just reach up there um nice guy nice kid uh very respectful he's very knowledgeable about what he's supposed to be doing out there great blocker i think the the browns grabbed him in round two i think that that would just put our offense just way over the top i'm not sure how harrison bryant is going to be um on this team going forward um, they've had some other guys that they've brought in to be tight end three that have just shuffled in and shuffled out. Pharaoh Brown is probably the best blocker on the team, but he can't, he's not a very good pass catcher. You're not going to throw him many balls. Uh, David Nagotu, uh, they pay him like they, they pay uh, Travis Kelsey. He's only like 300000 a year different, but you know Kelsey's going to all these Pro Bowls, whereas our guy is not. This guy is a beast. He is an absolute beast. Yeah, I was reading up on uh, Musgrave, and uh, <clears throat> PFF said first or second round talent, which that's great for a tight end, said that he still isn't a complete pass catcher, but he's got the top speed to beat linebackers, the big size to overpower DBs is what you're saying. And he said he's like a deep threat wide receiver down the field <laughs> because he's so fast. Is it true that he broke 20 miles per hour at the Senior Bowl? He did. They That was a new feature that they had this year. They – they didn't do 40 times. They did miles per hour, and he was the highest. He was the fastest of all the tight ends at the Senior Bowl. I kind of like that and miles like, per hour thing instead of the 40 because I feel like the 40 just doesn't translate. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, back in the day, everybody used to be timed in the 40, and Paul Brown timed everybody. I mean, they used to time everybody in the 100. Everybody had, I remember when I was, uh, it ran a 100 yard dash. Paul Brown changed that to the 40-yard dash. He said, because nobody in the game is going to run 100 yards on one run. But you can run 40 yards. That's where the 40 came from. Mm -hmm. But he was just – he had long stride. Now, his route running is not going to fool anybody. Yeah, that's what I was reading. Yeah, he he, he rounds off his routes. If he's going to – you know, whatever, he's going to go straight, and then he rounds off into the flat, you can follow him there. But you think about it. If he's got a six-two linebacker on him, which is probably going to cover the tight end, or you got a safety covering him, which if if they're six-two, that's a big safety. And he's almost six foot seven, and then he's he's long and lanky, got long legs, long arms. That makes him about I don't know nine, ten feet up in the air. And if you just kind of do a little alley oop up there and don't have to, you know, throw a dart, or throw a bullet to him. He's the only one that's going to be at the catch point. Nobody's going to even be close to that. And yes. if you know, if he gets tackled on the spot, I don't know what his yards after contact are, but if he's tackled on the spot, so what? It's like giving Jamar Chase 
eight, nine, ten yards every pass play, and he's getting seven for each reception. Yeah. So what? Seven plus seven plus seven plus seven marches you down the field, and that's what Luke Musgrave can do for the Browns. Yeah, as soon as you said Jimmy Graham, that I mean, I immediately that's that's what pictured in my mind. Yeah. Barry, like <clears throat> with the lack yeah. of film and then, you know, the knee injury, is this a guy that maybe could slide maybe even out of the second round or is it just too much upside? He's got to go first or second. If he did not go to the senior bowl, yes, he would have been there in the fourth round. Now, okay. He put on a show though. He put on a show okay. and everybody's, I, I remember sitting in the stands with some Canadian football league coaches and they were talking about this this kid from Purdue. His last name is Payne, and um, I mean Payne Durham from Purdue. And then everybody said, "Yeah, but what about that guy from Oregon State?" And that's all anybody talked about as far as the tight end position. He's just when you look at him, he's just so imposing. He's not. I mean, he's almost as tall as uh, Dewan Jones, but not with the girth and the and all the meat and the you know and all the cheeseburger wrappers in the back seat um but he's long and lanky and he's just got long arms and he he catches the ball pretty nice he's got real soft hands but his route running i don't know if somebody can teach him how to head bob or shoulder bob or hip bob um to make somebody think he's going to go in when he's really going out but his route running is just very vanilla but you put him in this offense, and that's just that's just another target for for this Browns offense.